Hope the Evil Within 1 video helped you, I am back with the Evil Within 2 video. This are the minimum system requirements to play this game on your PC. And this was how there was game working on my PC before. It gave around 20 to 25 frames per second. This are system specs on which I am playing this game. After doing all the steps shown in this video this is how the game works. It gave around 60 frames per second and was very smooth to play. This is low end gaming and let's get started without wasting any time. First, we will change the in-game settings of the game. Open your game and go to graphics. Set the display mode to full screen. Change the resolution to 800 by 600. Disable V-Sync. Set the field of view to 80 or 90 or else the game won't be playable. Now go to advanced settings and change the overall quality to low. And disable all the other settings. Save the changes and play your game. This is how the game worked after changing the in-game settings. It gave around 40 frames per second. Hope you got a good FPS boost. If you still watching this video then comment down evil too. Let's move to the next step. For this step, we will edit the config file. For the config file, go to your PC profile folder and open the save games folder. Tango game works. The evil within 2. Base and open the evil within 2 config with notepad, but it's of no use, because the config file does not have anything to change. Go to the description of this video and copy the launch commands. Now, listen to me carefully. If your game version is Steam or Epic, then open the game launcher, I have the Epic version, and paste this commands in the launch options. But if you have any other version, then open the properties of the game shortcut and paste this commands with a space. And done, after pasting the commands, open your game and now the game will work on the lowest settings. This is how my game works. It gave above 60 frames per second and was very smooth to play. And guys this was it for this video, hope this video helped you and your lag was fixed. See you all in the next video.